this series on using National Geographic Mapmaker Interactive. In this specific video, we discuss the Help Tools, the Bookmarks Tool, and the Reset Map Tool. These videos were made possible by America View, Virginia View, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, Colorado Mesa University, and Virginia Tech's College of Natural Resources and Environment. Funding for this project was provided by the United States Geological Survey under grant number G14AP00002. The contents of this video and the related written tutorial are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not represent the official views of the U.S. Geological Survey. Mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement by the United States government. This video series accompanies Chapter 1 in a written tutorial titled Exploring Our Planet with Open Source Software. You can find the written tutorial at virginiaview.cnre.vt.edu slash education or at americaview.org slash exploring our planet. When you first entered National Geographic Mapmaker Interactive, you see this screen, a welcome dialog box. For the purpose of this specific video, Please click on the X in the upper right hand corner of the welcome dialog box and close it. Once closed, you will see this screen. At the top of the screen is a toolbar, shown here within the red box. In previous videos, we discussed save, share, and print. In this video, we are starting with help, the last word in the toolbar. So go ahead and click on Help. The Help in National Geographic Mapmaker Interactive is a series of short videos. As you can see, the first video automatically shows when you clicked on Help. The video is not playing. To play it, you click on the white arrow to start it. The topics covered by the videos are listed on the left. There are a total of nine videos. The ninth video covers latitude and longitude. Go ahead and close the help dialog box by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner of the dialog box and go back to the main screen. Now let's talk about bookmarks. Bookmarks is actually the second word in the list of the toolbars. If you hover your mouse over the word bookmarks, you can see, you see the words add new, and what it says is it creates a new bookmark based on the current map. Bookmarks allows you to save different maps, different extents, or different items on the map in different screenshots. This sort of works like a presentation slide. So let's look at how to create bookmarks. Clip on, click on the floppy disk next to add new. You will get this dialog box. You can provide a title for this individual screenshot and a description. Go ahead and do that now. In this instance, you can see I titled the bookmark screenshot one. And of course, we notice that there is a typo. And then under description, I named it. This screenshot is for bookmark creation. Once you're satisfied with your title and your description, hit the submit button in the lower right hand corner of this dialog box. You get a message that your bookmark has been created and a copy of that slide, AKA your bookmark, shows at the bottom of your screen. And if you look closely, you can see the name of the slide underneath the bookmark. Again, you can see mine and that I misspelled screenshot. Where do you find your description? The little person icon in the lower right corner of your bookmark is where you find your description. And if you hover your mouse over there, over the little icon, you can see your description. Now let's go back to the word bookmark again. 
you now have two options, add new or updating existing. Updating existing actually just is going to update the bookmark that you've already created. Let's go ahead and add a second one. Again, you've got the same screenshot, and I've called it screenshot number two and spelling screenshot correctly. And then adding a second bookmark or editing is the pre-existing. So go ahead and type another description in there and click Submit. You can see that now you have a second bookmark. You get the same message at the top that the bookmark has been created. Within National Geographic Mapmaker Interactive, you can create up to 15 different bookmarks. Bookmarks are one of those essential characteristics of National Geographic Mapmaker Interactive that allows you to create story maps. There is also a help video on bookmarks. Again, you click on the help, and then on the left-hand side of the screen, you click Adding Bookmarks. Now let's go back to our map document window and look at our next item on the toolbar, Reset Map. Notice again, on your screen, you still have your two bookmarks. But if you click on Reset Map, you only want to do that if you're actually finished with the current map you're working in and you want to start a new one, or if you feel like you created some mistakes and you just need to start over. Don't worry, if you click on Reset Map, National Geographic Mapmaker wants to make sure you don't want to stop what you're doing, so they have a safeguard. Are you sure you want to reset the map? If you're sure, go ahead and click OK. And then what it does is it takes you back to the very, very first screen, including the welcome screen. Now, now I'm going to talk about one final item on this toolbar. I didn't say up front I was going to discuss it, but this is a good place to talk about it. This final item is called Give Feedback. As of the writing of this tutorial, this item was not working. Now, how do you know that? National Geographic provides that information and you got a message with regards to that. If at any time you want to give feedback and this feedback button is not working, you can just contact the National Geographic Society from the National Geographic information page. This concludes the review of the rest of the items in the toolbar. Just as a reminder, there is another video with regards to saving, sharing, and printing. If you have any questions with regards to this video or the accompanying written tutorial, please contact Dr. Tammy Paris at Colorado Mesa University or Dr. James Campbell at Virginia Tech. The email addresses are shown on the screen.